In VirtualBox Manager, I'm going to show you how to configure the different network card settings for a virtual machine. And this particular topic can be very confusing, so we'll take each option one step at a time. First, make sure your VM is powered off. Click on the settings, go to network, and then we're going to go ahead and we have the enable network adapter option. If we have attached to not attached, then networking is turned off even though the network adapter is enabled. Our next option is going to be NAT. Now NAT allows the hosts, the virtual uh, machines and the hosts to communicate with the internet, but the host machine acts as though it is a firewall and it keeps the virtual machines from talking to each other. So you would only want to use this if you do not need VM communication back and forth, but you do need to get out to the internet. The next option is the bridged adapter. Now the bridge, bridged adapter requires a physical network card on the host machine and it allows the virtual machines to talk to each other but only through the host's physical adapter. If we click on advanced here we can choose the adapter that's being used. This is an Intel board with a Pro 1000 which is why it's selected but uh, the most popular that almost all network cards support is the PC Net Fast 3 and that should be the one that you choose by default to uh, before you start making any settings changes. The next option is going to be the internal network. Now the internal network also allows virtual machines to talk to each other but they cannot talk to the internet and you do not require an actual physical network card. So the bridged option is basically the same as the internal but bridged requires the network card the internal option does not. The next one is the host only adapter. Now this is a hybrid between the previous options, the internal and the bridged. But the uh, the hybrid uh, option allows connectivity to the internal network. The VMs can talk to each other and it can allow the virtual machines to go out to the internet. So you can get Windows updates and do other kinds of, of uh, communication with the internet. However, it does not allow inbound connectivity. So if you need any kind of database connectivity inbound from outside the host or VMs, you will not get that. It will only allow communication between the VMs and between the VMs and outbound connectivity. So that is all the different uh, options there. We also have a generic driver. That's if you want to have a particular uh, driver that you're going to load. I, I doubt that many of you will have this uh, type of a need, but there may be some Linux or other operating systems that do require it.